and XRP future millionaire and I want to talk about this uh, this incentive that's happening on BitGet right now if you use my partnered link in the video description below simply go to my video click the video description and you've got down below partners at BitGet my partnered link 100 new signups will share one Bitcoin July 9th through the 18th click on that for new members only you'll be honored to win a portion of that giveaway um, and also you get $5,000 in bonuses instead of the 4162 that BitGet normally offers. So if you want to join me on BitGet, there's cheaper fees for spot trading, which is why I like to use it primarily. And then I'll send it over if I have to. When the time's right, I send XRP over to Uphold so I don't have to deal with the extraordinary fees on buying. And then I like to use it for my futures trading. And you can do it all the way up to 125x. I don't encourage leverage trading, but if you want to pass the time because we've been liquidated for so long and try to have a little bit of fun or try to sharpen your skills on a quicker uh, parameters, that's what I would do. So click the video description below. Join me on BitGet. I partnered with them. We're working out a lot of different things, trying to have future competitions. We do have the trading competition still going on. Um, that ends on the 14th, and we'll update on a future update. Click the video description below. And join me over on BitGet to have a chance at this giveaway. It's an extraordinary platform. And it makes it a lot easier to do the spot trading and futures trading. And to uh, set up your account. So make sure to do that. And I, if you're funding the account, I would send it from another exchange. And it's a trading platform. So you're going to need another platform to withdraw from. So go here, make your trade, send it back to your native exchange to withdraw. That's what I do. But enough about that. Now we got to get into the news. So I was going through here. Um, and you can see all this stuff. So I seen a story about Ripple. So I wanted to find this and I wanted to, uh, I wanted to read this cause this was interesting. So Ripple lambast SEC for attempting to hide identity of expert witnesses. Blockchain company Ripple has hit out at the Securities Exchange Commission SEC for attempting to hide the identity of the agency's expert witnesses in the ongoing case between the two parties. Um, Ripple claims that the SEC instance insistence on hiding the identity of the witness is both unprecedented and not supported by any evidence. The company said in a letter to the U.S. District Judge Annalisa Torres on July 10th, the SEC's attempt to shield the identities and opinions of its experts from any public scrutiny is both unprecedented and unsupported by any evidence of need. It is anti-ethical um, to the right of public to have access to substan substantive materials that will be critical to this court's upcoming ruling on the parties. The Daubert motions, Ripple said, Ripple's argument. According to Ripple, the judge should dismiss the SEC's request claiming that the regulatory agency is attempting to suppress public criticisms of its experts' opinions. Ripple added that the that the sad SEC experts might not have any confidential information. Therefore, Ripple wants the SEC to identify any confidential information for redaction and ask the judge to allow both parties to make arguments before deciding on the next move. The experts have been identified as key players in a high-profile case that saw the SEC sue Ripple and its current and former chief executives for allegedly carrying out a $1.3 billion unregistered securities offering through the sale of the XRP tokens. As you know, this involved Chris Larson and Brad Garlinghouse and a few others. Since the case was mentioned, Ripple has since denied the allegations maintaining that the XRP token was traded as a cryptocurrency. Threats on previous expert witness witnesses. This comes after the SC indicted or indicated that its fourth expert identified as Patrick Duty has been subjected to anonymous threatening messages on social media. Duty was initially hired by SEC to analyze. Oh, cry me a fucking river. Duty was threatened on social media. Well good. Good, you're lucky it's only on social media. With the way that you, with all the manipulation, oh my God forbid you get a, I get criticism on social media for being the XRP future millionaire. Does that mean I should be hidden behind walls so that nobody can make fun of me? Like what the fuck? Since the SEC moved to court, the case has dragged on with legal experts noting that Ripple might emerge victorious following a series of minor rulings in the company's favor. As reported by Finbold, the court at some point denied the SEC's motion for reconsideration of the DPP ruling and granted the SEC's request for clarification of that ruling. So very interesting. I just thought uh, I should keep you guys updated with that. And later I got an even better article about the direction of XRP, but I don't want to do both news articles at once.
Welcome back everybody at 8.16 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We've got the total crypto market cap is at 860 billion. We are making a small recovery. And when I say small, it's up about eh, 12 billion, 11 billion. But we're up at the 20 day in the 30 minute time frame. And as I always tell everybody, this is a very key level. If we can pull past here, we have not had a proper retest of the broken ascending triangle. So that is on my mind this morning. I don't know what I did. Oh, um, ooh, I forgot I can do this. I can draw in here and then uh, take it off like that easier. I completely forget about this all the time. So, I mean, that's what we're looking at here. So if you can maintain a hold here, you could get a retest of this broken ascending triangle as resistance for the first time instead of support. That is not off the table. So if you look at it in that regard, we look at Bitcoin, if this is a W recovery, we've fallen channel. So if we can hold the 20 day, we could come up here to about 20,100. I think it'd be hard to get up to 20,600. So I think that's what we're looking at this morning. We don't have a lot of volume coming in on this little attempted reversal, but you certainly can see some kind of W form. So if the if this holds, maybe by the end of the day, which I'm not calling for, but maybe it looks something more like that. We've come down here to the support We've almost come to X marks the spot. We've essentially hit it. So would I be surprised because we've been doing this to come back up here now? So that's what we're looking at today. Can we have a modest 400 point gain from here in Bitcoin? That remains to be seen. And in XRP, that same W reversal, that, that pesky reversal we were talking about right on the support line of 30989 roughly right at this blue line which was the uptrending support which it's trying actively to use it as resistance so if it can't pull up from here this would be a nice fall because then your next sport level of support would be down here at 28825 if we can manage to make this into some kind of short w reversal your first major resistance is going to be up here at the 200 day at about 32771 then you got 33179 are your two major key areas of resistance if we were able to pull forward XLM, you can see the same thing. We've got this W reversal, possibly, that's formed on this downtrending support. And that's the last layer before you break down into this support area. Because this is a dual layer on this symmetrical triangle, one could call it. And if you break the 097, then you have an impulse move down to 779 and then likely 577. That's when we can, we're so close to a catastrophe here. We're so close. XDC. We've got this immediate short-term trend that formed in the 30-minute. You can see it very clearly. But we're, we're hunting. We're hunting further down. We could even say this, just so you can see where this new uptrend formed. But we're starting to hunt down. You know, so if this breaks down and we hold 247, maybe we could make a little move up. But if this 247 collapses, then we come down to 230. And then it becomes interesting. You break that. Then you come back into the symmetrical triangle, and then your targeted move would be 0.14. So that would cut it almost in half. You're talking about a 40% cut if we were to break down to that next level. And then we're gonna end it on DGB on this quick, fast-paced update. What I need you to do is hit that like button and also comment. Hitting like and commenting are the two easiest ways to put me through the YouTube analytics, which is crazy, which makes no sense. But the one true way we know is to hit that like button and turn that bell notification off. Also, subscribe to the channel and join the more than 11,600 subscribers. If you see the page is red when you're watching my YouTube, turn it gray. Hashtag turn it gray. If it's gray, it means you subscribe and you're doing a fantastic job. If not, you're watching my content. And all you got to do is hit that subscribe button. Also, consider joining Tom's Army, $9.99 a month. Get the exclusive content. Get the exclusive telegram where we're talking. We got chart shared, and this is a beautiful one if you're in here that Chris shared. This is the projection down on Bitcoin down to 19,593 approximately to create a bear scarly, which would pull it back up to 19,943. So we're looking at a pullback of the 787 Fib extension and then a push back up. So that's what we're looking at. And if you're part of Tom's Army, you can clearly see that as well. And it's a very, very good learning tool. So with DGB, if we hold this support at 0917, we've got to break, you know, we're at the 20-day right now, right around the same area. If we break that, 
Your first logical move is 991 if you can get up here. Sometimes you get rejected at the 100 day though at 942. And then the first real area of resistance, if you can break past the 200 day is 1031. I don't necessarily know if we're gonna be able to get way back up there. If you lose the support here, next key area support is all the way down at 00774. Hit that like button, turn that bell notification all, and I'll see you on future updates. Stay blessed, everybody. Hashtag be better, do better. Hashtag fun assassins. And remember, help one person each and every day. Because if I don't do my part and you don't do your part, what the hell is the point? And then I would like to end on a beautiful note. By a Mr. UB2B. XRP in a nutsack. Join Tom's Army now. UB2B. What a beautiful, beautiful update. Thank you so much, UB2B. Stay blessed, everybody.